Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. We're coming back here, we're going to be checking out the uh, cathedral and hopefully now that we've got the gem and the, uh, well, I was going to say the chalice, we have got the chalice, we've got the tripod as well from the museum. Hopefully now we've got these two, we'll be able to piece together what we've got to do here. I can straight away see there's some people here and a clown. Now the clown's making me nervous because of the costume killer. I had no desire to talk to the crowd. I, I, yeah, it could be that this is Khan. It, it could be. Hopefully not, but the fact that... Hey, you with the balls. We? It doesn't look like Khan. In fact, it looks more like Lobino, actually, but let's, let's talk. How did you learn to be a juggler? Juggler? What is this juggler? It's you. You juggle, that makes you a juggler. No, I am a jongleur. A jongleur? What's that? Mon dieu! A jongleur is an artist, a master of the contragravitic aeroballetic mysteries. In centuries past, the courts of the crowns of Europe and the jongleurs, witty erudite men to whom the monarchs turned in their hours of need. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Our enemies are at the borders. Plague ravages the land, and the peasants are revolting. Thank God we've got Chuckles the Jongler to throw his balls around. I don't think so. It's a bit rude, George. It's a bit rude. That juggling doesn't look so difficult. Oh, it does not. Does it not? Perhaps you feel you could do better. No? I'll give it a try. Be my guest. All right, let's give it a try. Come on, George. Show us what no you're made of. I have no idea what I was doing. Good this stuff. guy was obviously an idiot, so how difficult could it be? Yeah. Well done. <laughs> well <laughs> done. That's how difficult. <laughs> oh dear. Wow, way to make yourself look stupid, George. Still, it was my big chance to be derided by complete strangers. Not so easy after all, is it? No, I guess not. Well, there we go. Can we Hi ask again. him any questions? We? Oui? What is it this time? These people are trying to watch him juggle and we're just interrupting to have conversations. What do you know about the Knights Templar? Le Templier? Ah, their last Grandmaster, Jacques de Molay, was burnt on an island in the Seine in 1314. Wow. You're pretty well educated for a juggler. Mm. No, monsieur. I read it on that board over there. Everyone seems to get all of their knowledge from this board. Catch you later. <laughs> this police okay, officer was the same. Right. Anyway, let's head inside and see what we can do with this. Uh, oh, there's a priest. have time to sit around. There's a priest or someone in here now. I bet we're going to have to use the tripod and the gem somewhere though. We've got to surely, right? Uh, excuse me, Father. Pardon? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all, Monsieur. It will be my pleasure to help you. Okay, good. Uh, How long have you worked here? Hardly work, Monsieur. This is a calling. I have been helping Father Flambert for nearly six months now. Okay. So he's not the father, but he's helping out. I guess you don't know much about the history of this church, then. Just a little. Uh, can you shed any more light on that? You've got quite a shine on that candlestick. Ah, oui. Anything less than best would be an insult to the Almighty. I guess so. I never thought of it like that. What do you know about the Knights Templar? You have come to the right place, if that is your interest. Many of them were executed in the square outside. It was a disgrace to France. Well, the Pope was right behind it, though. Clément V was a man of memo, not of God. That's kind of forthright for a priest, isn't it? Mm. You think so? It is hard to be sure what happened. It is so long ago. This guy's really softly spoken. It's kind of weirding me out. <laughs> I noticed that the stained glass window on the left looks more modern than the middle one. You have a keen eye, monsieur. The original window was destroyed in the last war. Mm. It was as old as the church. Early 14th century. Interesting. Oh, man. That's awful. We oui, a terrible loss. Still, the church and the other windows survived. It's about the same time period though, right? Uh, should we ask about this? What do you make of this chalice? It uh, certainly looks very old. It is. About as old as this church, I think. There seems to be an engraving on it. Yeah? What does it say? I do not know. It is very tarnished. 
With your permission, uh, I could try polishing it. Uh, I promise I will be very careful. Uh, yeah? That'd be very good of you. This uh, shouldn't take very long. Feel free to look around. What have we got to lose, right? Unless he steals okay, it or something. Okay, thanks. Uh, yeah? The priest was still busy with the chalice. So I decided to have another look around the church. If you steal it, then, you know, bad things are going to happen to you, sir. Alright, let's... Let's have a look at these windows again, then. Perhaps they have something to do a with knight, it all. there in the company of his fellows. Biblical references engraved into the tomb edge to guide his way to the next world. I guess. I'm watching you very closely. Somehow, it looked more modern than its neighbour. I didn't recognise the biblical story in it. I was a Sunday school dropout. Perhaps we can ask him to explain the story, then? He, he's got to know, right? In comparison to its neighbour, it looked pretty plain. Alright, so can we maybe use the gem with one of these things? No, okay. What, what are we looking for here exactly? Can we set up the tripod on this thing? Oh, I think we might be able to, you know? No, we can't. <laughs> he walked all the way over there just to do that. Okay. Maybe we can do something with this now. A scroll was a symbol of scholarship. I knew that much. A scholarly knight. That rang a bell. You have any Spanish bell? Having any luck there, mate? On the end of the staff was some kind of disc with a cross on it. Around the base of the disc was a hairline crack. We've got to take the disc, right? That's got to be what we've got to do here, surely. Do you want to hold this? No. He doesn't. Uh, do you want to hold this here? No. The priest was still busy with the chalice, oh, so I decided to have another look around the church. How long is he taking with this? Is there anything else here we missed? Maybe we can sit here. A knight there in the company of his fellows. No. Okay. Well, these things are on the floor, so maybe we've got to do something with these. The fact we can interact with them. A stone knight lay in full stone armor, blank eyes looking at the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Carrying all that armor around must have been hard work. So that's that one. What does this one a say? A stone knight lay at the end of a row of four. I wondered if this guy had died in combat. Maybe. Can we use the tripod on one of them? We can't. No. Can we use the tripod and the gem hmm. together? Maybe not. Apparently we can't. That's a little bit weird. Um, I don't really want to leave while he's got that. So I didn't have time to sit around. Okay. Uh, I didn't recognise the biblical story in it. I was a Sunday school dropout. Okay. I don't think there's anything else we've missed. Somehow it looked more modern than its neighbour. There's got to be a reason for this window saying that, right? There's got to be. The priest was still busy with the chalice, so I decided to have another look around the church. How long are you going to be doing that? Uh, okay. So we've got to use them somewhere here, I'm guessing. Is there like an area off to the right? There is not. Hmm. I, d I mean, what happens if we try to leave? Is he going to stop us if we try to leave? Maybe that will make him finish whatever he's doing? Well, we can leave, weirdly. Okay. He, he's, he's still doing it. I didn't have time to sit around. How long is this going to take, buddy? Because I've got things to do, you know? So... We can't interact a with this thing, can there we? In the company of his fellows. Can we... No, it's got to be something to do with this statue. It's got to be. I could see that what had at first seemed to be a fine engraved chasing on the scroll was actually writing. Per discipline, oh. Mayum Lux Vedebus. 
Sounds pretty familiar to me. That's the one on the on the uh, Templar scroll, right? Per disciplinum meum lux videbus. <gasps> oh! A bit of a stained glass window. Wow! Hoping for a big insight while squinting through a hunk of statuary had been pretty optimistic, I guess. So it's something to do with this. Okay, can we might like use? No. Okay, but it's something to do with I didn't this. Didn't recognize the biblical story. This here. It. I was a Sunday school dropout. Let's have a look at it again. Per discipline. So is it a bit of a stained glass window? Wow! Hoping for a big insight while squinting through a hunk of statuary had been pretty optimistic, I guess. So, is it pointing to something? It's like looking up here. Is there anything up? I didn't recognize the biblical story in it. I was a Sunday school dropout. Okay, no. The priest was still busy with the chalice, so I decided to have another look around the church. Okay, fine. Um, so this... Well, I could have just taken the end off the staff, but I wanted to be sure what I'd be getting out of vandalizing a church, other than deported. Okay, so that's not... I didn't have time to sit around. The fact we can go outside... So something to do with this one on the right. I didn't have to. Maybe we've got to do something outside with the juggler. Hi again. We? Oui? What is it this time? I don't know, but I felt like I should come out here. Do you want to shake hands? It didn't seem right to fry somebody's palm when they make their living with their hands. Okay. Um. Do you want this? this gadget is a sewer key. I do not want it. Thank you. Well, Fair I'm enough. Selling it, I just wanted your opinion. <laughs> it is hardly my area of expertise. Yeah, true. Uh, do you want a gem? Feels like a bad Just idea. Eyes on this. Incredible. Is it real? Yeah. I think so. Some people believe that great gems always have curses upon them. Hopefully not. Oh, that's garbage. Although, now that I think about it. Both of the people who had this before me disappeared in mysterious circumstances. Mm -hmm. And the guy who was supposed to get this was shot and then murdered in his hospital bed. Do you want it? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I've got a medieval tripod. And my uncle Claude has hemorrhoids. So what? Okay, so that didn't work either. Have you seen this guy? Have you seen this man before? No. Okay, good, right, so... Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Okay. I had no desire to talk to the crowd. I mean, can we just open this up and make him fall down? That'd be pretty funny, right? Hey! Hey, you! What do you think you are doing? You stay away from that. Alright, fine. I will. Does this guy know anything? Excuse me, officer. Uh, oh, we can ask him some questions. What do you know about the Knights Templar? We've done that one before. No, Shouldn't you be off directing? You have. Yeah. We've done that one before as well, so I'm just going to skip it. Yeah, but. Do you know anything about this man? Have you seen this man before? No. Who is he? I believe him to be an international assassin. Oh, is that all you can say? Oh. <laughs> Why did you I do the voice? I believe you to be an international paranoiac, but it didn't seem polite. Oh. Look at this gem. What do you think? Cut glass. No, it's not. It's for real. What kind of madman would go around waving a priceless gem? Under people's noses. One who's so desperate for a solution. Or I'm mad. I didn't like to think about that for too long. Mm. Alright, uh, do you want to look at this tripod? What do you know about medieval ironmongery? Have a look at this little baby. A tripod? 
What is it, Paul? Not sure yet. You mean you don't know? No, monsieur. Nor do you, I think. Yep, correct. Uh, did we try shaking Would hands? Would you like to shake? I stopped myself barely in time. Electrocuting a cop would not have been smart. They yeah. They build the Bastille just so they could throw me in and throw away the key. <laughs> I'll see you around. All right. Well, that's Please not you. that's not I'll helping anything. Um, I, I don't know. Hi again. Hello. Oui? What is it this time? Uh, do you want this? Look, a red nose. Ah, you are a clown. Yeah. A clown? No. If so, you would be a much better jungler. For a moment, an idea capered around near the spotlight of my attention, but fell down the pothole of abstraction before I could focus on it. Hmm. Okay. Well, Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. we're obviously missing something here, but I'm not too sure what it is. Uh, so we'll leave it there for this one. We're out of time anyway. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcadis Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle and Barry Aldridge for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all next time.